and the other morning we walked in and one of the flamingos was found just laying down in the exhibit itself. All right, little girly. The tendon was not holding it on that side of the leg. It's like a football injury. When you lose the tendons on your knee, your leg kind of wobbles. Miss Dinky, how are you, sweetie? I'm a proponent of naming animals. I'm also a proponent of letting the people who work with the animals name the animals. When that happens, unfortunately, sometimes you end up with a flamingo named Dinky. Dinky. The hope of the splint is that it relieves the pain and to stabilize the joint so that it's not painful every time she steps and it collapses. All right, so let me pull the splint arms out. The actual origin we don't know, but it was likely a traumatic injury. Long-legged birds are uh, predisposed to leg trauma. They've just got a lot of leg out there. She could have taken a bad step and fallen off their island. She could have gotten knocked into by another flamingo. Hey, all right, good job. This is the first splint I have constructed for a flamingo. So this is parts of a hinge for a, a drop-down hutch desk and pipe insulation foam and a whole bunch of waterproof medical tape to hold it all together. So it is completely custom. It's a MacGyver split. It is. I will tell you Don't that the vets do amazing <laughs> things here. And they think outside the box. We're good. OK. You can set her down. Easy. All right, Easy. good job. Is that better? I know. Okay, sweet bird. Dinky is the underdog. She's the littlest of the group. She's just a very sweet bird. She's the animal that the whole team is pulling for. They want to see her do well. <laughs> <laughs>